Nancy and Samantha and Wendy and Linda and Ann. Hello, people. We just had kind of a freaky deaky thing. I have Emma down here with me. We had a weird thing that happened. Some strange man came and was knocking on the window and then was looking in the window and then continually knocking on the window and knocking on the window whistling. and whistling. And he was in full winter gear. And he, it's like 70 degrees here. He was in winter clothing and gloves. And said... I, I didn't get good vibes. We have... Listen, we have cameras. So we were watching him on the camera as he was doing his antics. So, um, and I have a neighbor right next door that's a, a, a big, strong man. And he said, if you ever get freaked out, just let me know. So we were, we were close to calling him. Not going to lie. He went away, you think. But he went away. But then he said something like, what did he say? He said, you can't not answer my knocks forever. You can't not answer my knocks forever. Weirdo. So, listen, if he comes back, I'm not going to open the door, but I'm going to stand and talk to him from the window. And I'm going to say, go away. <laughs> Be like, what do you want? Good morning. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Jana. Hi, Carrie. And Frenchie, Emma's down here. She is not, she will not be on camera because, well, maybe she will. I'm in my pajamas. Right? She's in her pajamas. I'm not going to lie. She's in her pajamas. So, um, I have a postcard. Oh, hi, Tammy and Linda. I have a postcard. I have a box that came from Mr. Michael that I did not realize. Hello, Sean. Hi, Wendy. And I don't know what it is. So we're going to open the box from Mr. Michael, the Cult of Vintage. And hi, Zoe. And everyone's saying, welcome back. And she moves back for good on Sunday with her boyfriend. Her and her boyfriend will, move, be, will be moving in on Sunday. So she won't be alone. She'll be with her strong, capable boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> good morning. I know a friend now from Michael. He's excited. Oh, hello, Mandy. She's all the way from Windy, England. It's windy here today, too. We're under, like, a severe storm watch for later on this evening, which I love. I love a storm. Oh, thank you, Janice. Yeah, I'm feeling much better. I'm not going to lie. Saturday, I felt like a, I had been hit by a truck. Um, I... <sighs> oh, I haven't watched it yet. I haven't had time to, but I trust me, I have heard about it. He has told me as soon as he left the place, he messaged me and talked to me about it. I'm excited to watch it. Michael's video, which if you don't know what we're talking about, Michael's video, Michael, the cult of vintage. If you're not subscribed to his channel, go and subscribe to his channel. See now every little noise I hear. I'm like paranoid. Um, is somebody out there? Okay. <laughs> We got cameras. I'm looking at the camera. No one's out We're watching. If anyone thinks that they can come and sneak up on us, we got, listen, we've got like 14 or 15 cameras in this joint and a security I system. Like five <laughs> anyway, um, the, what was I talking about? Michael's video. Oh, Michael's video. He went to a hoarder place. Like, I don't want to say it's a hoarder place. It's just a lady that has a shop that's kind of like her overflow. So things are just kind of everywhere. They're just everywhere. Um, so I haven't watched it yet. I'll probably watch it as soon as we're done here. I'm excited to see it. But make sure that you're following, that you're subscribed to Michael's channel. Michael is with me every Monday night on the Vintage Rescue Squad. He's a lot of fun. I love him so much. All right. The first thing I want to do, I got a postcard. And then I have a box to open from Michael for some friend mail from Michael. And then we're going to go pick 12 things. We're going to pick 12 things for the sale tomorrow. Um, yes, it's the crammed one. Yeah. Um, I've already picked the fairy lamp. So that's already been picked. I will have a fairy lamp in Tuesday sale and in Wednesday sale. Um, but Wednesday sale, you're just going to have to wait. Maybe I'll give you a little sneak peek if we have some time. Because I already have Wednesday's things pulled. Um, but the sale tomorrow is will be on Michelle's Comfy Cozy Living's channel. So make sure that you're subscribed to her channel. It will be myself and Michael and Michelle. And we'll, we'll each be selling some really cool things. But you guys are going to pick the things that I'm going to be selling. So that's kind of fun. It's fun for me. It's fun for you. But the first postcard that I got is from one of my 
favorite YouTube channels. Now, I do pay for a Patreon account for him, um, and I get a postcard every month from him, and it's handwritten. And it is Days with Jordan the Lion. If you're not following him, he isn't a reseller. He doesn't do like reselling content. He's basically a travel vlogger, but he lived in California for I think 17 or 18 years in Los Angeles. So he did a lot of old history of Hollywood and um, show business and that kind of thing. And like the old Hollywood silent film movie stars and stuff like that, that fascinates me. But he's kind of, he does all kinds of traveling all around as well. So I am a member of his Patreon. And I just wanted to, and he hand wrote it, which I just love because you don't get a lot of handwritten things anymore. And he hand writes a lot of these. He's got a lot of Patreon people. I think he's just over 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. I want to say he might be more, but I love him. So make sure Days with Jordan the Lion. It's D-A-Z-E, Days with Jordan the Lion. And he's got his little puppy dog, Jaw, who I love, but it says, Hello there, Missy. It's your old pal, Jordan. That's how he starts all his videos. Jaw and I hope this card finds you well. We appreciate you watching and sporting our adventures. All the best, Jordan the Lion and Jaw. Well, there's my P.O. box. That's not my address. It's just my P.O. box. I love him. So follow his channel. He's a lot of fun. He's a really cool guy. He's from Ohio. He's a nice Midwestern boy by heart. So make sure that you go follow him. I just saw... Um, do, 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 do. Oh, you know what? I will say, someone said that they never get to make it to my sales. This Thursday night at, oh gosh, maybe eight o'clock. Gosh, darn it. I'll, I, I'll, I'll be posting, posting some teasers, but I'm going to be on, um, on Patrick's channel, uh, the trusty huckster mercantile. I will be having a live sale with him. So I will be having an evening sale. I'll be selling, I think, 15 things around that around that time. So I'll be I'll be I'll be participating in an evening sale this week on Thursday night. So stick around for that. So make sure that you're subscribed to Patrick's channel as well. Okay, so I'm opening up my box. I opened it, but I didn't open it. Open it, you know. So this is from Michael. Paper. But I will recycle. What is this? It's wrapped up in a bundle. Yeah, Patrick has a nice channel too. Yeah, he has a he did his deep dives. He did one last night with uh, Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage on Longer Burger Baskets. And Longer Burger Baskets are making a comeback, I will say. Oh my gosh, what is this? I see a face. I see a face. Hi, Thrifting Vegas. See a face, Emma. Emma can't wait. She loves things with faces. Oh my goodness. It's a little baby bunny. It's a little textured tail. Emma's looking at me like, mm. oh my gosh, look. He's so happy with his little ears. Look at his teeth. <laughs> oh my gosh. He is precious. It's a home painted ceramic piece, which I love. Look at that. That might be Michael. See, he knows that I like weird things like this. Look at his little tail. Oh, I don't know if Lynn Hampton is watching, but Lynn Hampton loves bunnies. It's a little baby. You know what? If he was pink, he would look like the bunny from um, Christmas. Christmas Story. Oh, thanks, Thrifting Vegas. I made Emma braid my hair. I cannot braid. So Emma braided my hair. So, um, because it's raining and it was, anyway. Yeah, that is very kitschy. I love that. Thank you, Michael. I love it. No, Nancy, I have it sitting over here. I was talking to Michael this morning and I said, I have these things I need to send to you from Tammy. So yes, I'm going to be sending them. I have like, I have something for him and I have something for a couple of other people that are just, I have it like in a holding area, you know, so I need to get that done. I knew you would love it, Lynn. Lynn loves bunnies. It's so cute. Look at this little belly. Yeah, she can do her own braids. She can do her own braids. She can put in her own um, false 
eyelash extensions. She does it herself. I don't know. I do my nails. She does her own nails. She does all, all those things. I can't. I can't do that. We need to send him some too. Yes. Oh, he would love that. He would love that. I don't know. I don't know if he has a P.O. box or not. I'll I'll tell him. Emma has great skills. Yeah, she she can. She's very artistic. She will. I'm so happy that she's gonna be here forever, forever, Emma. For she's moving home forever, and it makes me happy. Um, so, are we ready to pick some stuff? She must have taken after Mark. Yeah. She, that's true, Gia, because I cannot do any of those things. I am not artistic. I cannot braid. I cannot do those like intricate things. I have no patience to do things like that. Like I'll do it for a few minutes. And I'm like, I, I, I'm done. I, I can't do it. But she'll sit. How long does it take you to do your own eyelash extensions? About an hour and a half. An hour and a half. She'll sit and do it for an hour and a half. And I'm like, I, I, I can't. I just can't sit, sit still. Yes, I am feeling so, I was feeling better yesterday, but it was nice. I, I'm not going to lie. It was nice to just, I literally slept all day Saturday. So I'm not going to lie. That, that was really nice. I mainly, I didn't feel feverish. I was running a low grade fever, but I wasn't feeling, I wasn't feeling feverish. I was just mainly exhausted. I, I could not stay awake. I literally slept all day. And I just, my body ached. I just had aches all over in all my joints. But I never, like, felt like I had the flu or anything. I just felt very um, exhausted. So I, I was okay with just sleeping all day. But then the, the next day, and I think, I could have got this done, this done, this done, and this done, you know, if I wasn't sleeping all day. But, you know, I think it's okay for us just to take a day where we can just not do anything, you know. All right, I will say, let me see, do I have any other announcements? So tomorrow will be the three-way sale is on Michelle's channel. Tonight is the Vintage Rescue Squad. I see Daniel's in the chat. Daniel Tacky is me is going to be a guest on the Vintage Rescue Squad, as well as Deloria, the Deloria, Dolores from Miss Dan Dam Jewelry. Uh, she's in the UK, uh, so she's going to be up late. So she's, she's taking one for the team. She's going to be up late to be with us tonight. Um, but it's going to be a lot of fun. I, you know, it, it, we, and I always say, save, like be thinking of things that you're wanting to ask or wanting to talk about tonight. Cause I like to get the chat very much drawn from you guys and what interests you. I kind of have an idea of some things that we might talk about a little bit. I always like to have a few things stewing around in my brain, but I definitely like to get, have it very much like, audience driven so you guys help so katie katie's always katie always posts really good questions so I'm, I'm always hopeful that katie's in the chat we will be talking about reselling collecting youtube content creation uh, live sales ebay antique booths any of those things that you have any questions about we will talk about um i just had yes linda i had moderna and i was just exhausted and it hit about nine to ten hours afterwards i got i had it Friday morning at 9 a.m. And I worked all day Friday. I went shopping. I came back and I shipped. And I didn't really have any effects until, um, I don't know, probably about maybe 8 o'clock, 7 or 8 o'clock at night. And it really it didn't hit me all of a sudden. It was just like, I feel tired. And then I just, that was just kind of how it does. But yes, Daniel and Dolores are super brooch experts. So if you have any questions about brooches or vintage jewelry be thinking about those questions and come tonight and ask them um i don't know much about jewelry other than it's pretty and i like figural pieces that's about all i know i like figural pieces of jewelry that's that's all i know and i know like eisenberg and i know i mean i know a few things but i don't know a whole lot so make sure that you attend tonight you don't have to just ask questions about jewelry we all, we all like all kinds of vintage. Okay, so I'm going to take you off of the tripod. So prepare. You're going to go for a little ride. Let me take a little drink. Mountain Dew. I will tell you, though, I did bring, am I handing my cup? 
I'm going to make them proud. You're going to be amazed. I'm drinking this is just one can of Mountain Dew for my caffeine. Then the rest of the day, water. I know you're all falling out of your chairs right now, but I, oh no, I lost my straw. I'm going to be drinking water for the rest of the day. I'll eventually get my straw out of there. I'll have to fish it out, but water, water. This is a hydro jug, which is great because it, it has this protectant little sleeve so it doesn't sweat. Water. Daniel, I know. Water. All, all I've heard, all, you quit Mountain Dew? What? When? How did I miss that, Daniel? Jeffrey had lectured me all stinking weekend about drinking water. Water, he sang me a song about drinking water. I'm going to drink some water. And I'm, I'm going to see. Now, it's not just plain water. I do have a little bit of strawberry lemonade flavoring in it. But it's calorie free. I can't just do plain water. I just can't. And I did slice up some lemon and put some lemon in there. Oh, yeah. No, Lori, I will be going to Starbucks. I go to Starbucks on my sale day. So we'll ask what your heart sugar. Oh, this? Yeah, you can get these on littleredports.com. It's just a sticker. It's not part of the cup. Yeah, it's just a sticker. This is my old Yeti. You can see I just bought myself a new one. I've had this one for about six years or so. Um, but these you can buy from me. This is this is a Mackinac Island or Mackinac Bridge. But these stickers can be bought on littleredports.com. And I, well, I put this in the dishwasher all the time. I mean, I wash it every day in the dishwasher and the stickers stay on just fine. Hi, Stephanie. You stopped last Sunday. Daniel. Now, I'm not, I'm not completely going cold turkey. I got to have a Mountain Dew in the morning. I'm just... Yeah, Nancy, the heart is exactly like the heart on the wall. She does different variations and different colors. Um, and I actually... It just placed an order for a custom sign that's going to be done soon that I can't wait. So it's going to hang next to my heart. But littleredporch.com. All right, now let's go pick. Do I have any other announcements? Yeah. My sales on Wednesday. I'm going to be selling 30 items because it's much more reasonable for me and I'm not killing myself. And I'm also having three sales this week. I'm having my sale tomorrow. I'm having my sale on Wednesday and I'm having a sale Thursday night on Patrick's channel. And then with all my haul videos, I sell things from that too. So 30 items is more reasonable. Emma thinks it's good because she, you know, is my record keeper. So I think that it went, it went really well. And also tomorrow during the three-way sale, we will be doing all offer ups. So prepare for that. We'll be, we'll be doing all offer ups and we'll do it just like we did the last, the last three-way sale. Um, my live sale on Wednesday will be a mixture of both. So I think that's all the announcements I have. All right, let's go shopping. Okay. Again, if you see anything on my shelves that we don't pick and you have, if you're interested in it, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. And, um, I'll let you know how much I want for it and if I'll sell it before a live sale and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, we're gonna pick 12 items. Are we ready? All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn you around because you don't want to look at my... Oh, don't look at the light, Carol Ann. I say that every week. Don't look at the light. Okay. Oh, also, I will say, too, if... Oh, there's Emma. No. <laughs> I will say, too, if you've not bought something from me before um, and you're wanting to participate in the offer up, send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com with your... Um, your YouTube name, your actual name, if it's different, your full shipping address, and your PayPal email. So I need all of those things if you want to participate in the live sales. I'm going to start over here because I have these things sitting up on this table that I kind of want to move because I've moved where I'm having my live sales. This was my old spot, but I've moved it to over there. So I have some things over here that we could choose from just because I need to, I need to move them off of this table. I had had these pulled for a sale, but then I switched where I was going to be. And so I chose different things. This will not be for sale because I'm taking this to Jeffrey's. If you are coming to Jeffrey's pop-up shop, um, the weekend of May 
14th, I think. Yeah, this will be there because I bought this from an online auction. I was super excited about it. Little did I know that they glued the flamingos to the, the pond. And I'm scared to try to take them off. So I don't want to ship it this way because there's too many breakable points that I don't want to put some pressure on. So I'm taking this with me to Illinois. So if you're coming to Illinois, that's where you can purchase this from. But the flamingos are glued on there, sadly. Sadly. Okay, so that's the only thing. All right, so these, uh, these things are available. We can pull some of these things and then we will go over to the shelves as well. Um, I do have some poodles. Now, I did sell the white chalkware poodles, and now these are the black ones. Um, they, this one does, do they either one of them have a hanger? Neither one of them have their original hangers on them. So there is that. Yeah, the, the horseshoe, yeah, everybody should have a horseshoe above their doorway. It's good luck. Um, yes, Daniel, I will be there both days. I might be leaving a little bit early on um, Sunday because I have a four-hour drive. So, but yeah, I'll be there both days. Um, I Someone said the tall vase. This is actually a Jim Beam decanter in slag glass. I've had a couple of these. You, you can see the slag glass, how it's kind of swirly up there. Um, it does have the cork on the inside, but still a fun color and a fun piece. So that is a possibility too. I have some hummingbirds, some metal. Well, no, these aren't. Are these hummingbirds, do you think? Or are they just birds? I don't know. No more cats in the live sales. <laughs> Give me a chance. <laughs> uh, singing angels. Hmm. I'll go over there and look. I might maybe have a few. So I've got these, so these metal birds. Two of those. This is uranium glass. These are actually, I think these are supposed to be either pears or avocados, but it does glow. Um, the cat in front of the mirror. This is art glass. It is not vintage. It is not vintage. It was made in China. But I, I could sell this. It is art glass, not vintage. It's kind of a pinkish purple cat. Um, I got these two little bird salt and pepper shakers. These little goofy bunny huggers. See, they hug. Okay, so Tammy said the bird salt and pepper shakers. All right. And then the slag glass bottle. Um, I have this cow creamer. I have this seal planter this is a cat planter look at that and it's a cat with that that a cat freaks me out when it does that with her babies it's green green-eyed cat um yeah the bone bunnies are stoned out of their minds daniel look at that what what did we do let's hug it out okay the cow the tablecloth is actually a quilt topper. I need to take it off of here because it's not actually, it's a quilt topper. Um, I've got this bank. It says for that mink. I got a set of four lusterware plates with the birds. Um, a wooden cat figure. It's all wood. The bunnies. Okay. Saw the bunnies. I have these little bird salt and pepper shakers. Oop. I have a panther planter. This is American bisque. And a bear with a cart planter. Good morning, Annie. I have a sugar and creamer with an apple. It's a red apple made in Japan. Sugar and creamer. And this really beautiful shell trinket with a... Um, the, not the end of day, the um, ring of fire. You can see how it's real thin right through there. Any mid-century artwork? Maybe. Did you sell those big? I yes, I did. I did, Linda. I also have a lot of sheet music. 
again, I, and I would sell all of this as one lot. I have more, but I'm just lotting out some of it together. The Ragagan rag again Love Song. Okay. Oh, these were the bird ones. Okay. These bird ones, Tammy. Okay. Gotcha. I'll put these back. All right. So let's go up to the shelves. Oh, I also have this poodle plush with his original tag. He's Trudy Toys. So he has his original tag. He's got a little dingleberry in his ear. Oh, no, you didn't, Annie. I, I'm at the point right now where I'm readjusting because we've had some issues. So if you're, if you were a mod and you're not now, don't, I'm just, I'm redoing some stuff. So don't panic. Nobody did anything wrong. Lucite candlesticks. I wish, Daniel, I don't have any. I can never find those. Other people can find those, but not me. And I also have this little swan trinket and this little swan planter. Now these are all the things. Oh, and this which is not sterling and don't know about the stones, but it's a men's ring. Okay, the mini purses from the market. Mini purses from the market. I don't remember. Let's go back on the shelf. So how many things did we pull? We pulled one, two, three, four things. Four things. That's not very many. We can, we, we can do better than that. Um, oh, look at this. I got this recently. Look, do you guys remember this? This is still in the package from the 1970s. It, it's it, now he's a little creepy looking with that side eye, but he's in his original packaging and he does work. Look at those eyes. Isn't that fun? I couldn't resist. So I do have the little jumping jack baby. You had one that was red. Okay, okay, Lori, I have that that the panther. I can't say it, panther planter. But I'm going to show you the things that Dad got this weekend, and he got this weeping gold panther. So I could do this one. Uh, it is the like what 14, 24 karat gold weeping panther planter. Um, vintage vanity items. Oh, I have this mirror. He just picked this up too. The beveled hand mirror. This is hand painted porcelain on there. And then an anchor hawking. Ooh. An anchor hawking. Oh, let me get it the right way. Anchor hawking fish trinket. Okay. Yes to the mirror. Now these are mine. So uh, those I'm taking home. So nobody can have those but me. I, those are mine. Um, this is glass bake, but it's really it has a really nice shape to it, and it does have the lid, which I think is nice. And then this one is Pyrex. I don't know the pattern. I'm not a Pyrex pattern person. It is Pyrex, and it has the the um, the stand. Okay, I'm also seeing yes to the fish. Yeah, he does have a good eye. This is a wooden camel that I thought I probably would put back until Christmas. Sometimes I can find some more of these wooden nativity. Okay, G is saying the glass bake. Um, then this is very interesting. Okay, this is kind of a... Um, Oh, what is that material? Like a celluloid. But it's quick work metal polish. Look at these girls in jail. And it says, all we ask is a, is a fair trial. They're in jail. And it's copyright 1909 by Whitehead and something company. But then you, and it's all together by this little brad here. And it's, it is to polish your metal. It, like in between here are two pads and you put your metal, you know, in between it. 
and you polish it. But the but the advertisement on it, these they're jailbirds. What did they do? They just want a fair, fair trial because they're women. It's just bizarre, isn't it? I just I just think that this is really cool. Um, oh, I know. Trust me, I tried, and he's like, I don't want the mood to do it today. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. So, and then he also got these. Now, I don't know. These are, um, they're alabaster. This one is with love from Jerusalem. Little trinket. This one is also alabaster with the purple flowers on it. Little hinged alabaster trinket dishes as well. Yeah, I know. This is really cool. Now, this is going to be, I'm going to do some research on this. And I'm not going to, I don't know. It, it, it. I'm going to probably ask, either do an offer up or I'm going to ask a good deal for it. So I can try putting it in, but I have never seen anything like this before. So, and again, if I'm not pulling something that you are interested in, you can send me an email. And we can talk about it before I even have. I'll put the alabaster boxes aside. And I'll, I'll set this aside too, so that's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then someone was asking about singing angels. No, I thought this is what I was thinking of, and they're not singing angels. They're just little people. They're just little people. Um, so I don't have any singing angels. No. I do not. This this sale will be, be for tomorrow's. Yeah, yeah, you were asking for singing angels. No, I don't. I don't. I've got these little people. I have a this boy playing a horn. And I have this boy thinking about smoking his pipe. And I have this. Now, here's an angel playing a horn. But I don't have any singing angels. Oh, this cat here. All right, Gia, the thing of it is, this is not vintage. It's modern. It's made by Lacombe. La Lacombe. And it's chipped. I didn't realize that when I got it. See at the top of its little face? So I thought about putting it in a lot of other cats. But it's not, it's not vintage. But it's very vintage-like. I know I was drawn to it, too, because of, the, because of the colors. So I thought I might at least put it in a lot of... Um, of other things. Now I do have, oh, the ladies are suffrages and it's an ink blotter, not for polishing. <gasps> oh, that makes complete sense. Yes. Okay. I'm going to do some research on it, but thank you, Laura. Oh. All we ask is a fair trial. That makes complete sense. Absolutely. Okay. The bluebirds. These are um, Capo de Monte. See, there's the Capo de Monte symbol there. Made in Italy. So I can do these. I did sell the ones that were in the nest. So I got those. And this, this bluebird. Okay, here's the story with this bluebird. It is... Andrea by Sadik, but it's got a chip here and I took this home and I fixed him because I dropped him and I broke him. You can't tell where I've glued him. It, I've, I did a good job, but he does have a little chip. I broke like three things last week. It was not a good week. I was trying to do too many things, but so, I mean, I, you know, I, He's available. I'm not going to put it in a live sale. He is available. You can send me a message if you're interested in him. He broke right there along his base, so you can't really tell. So send me a message, Nancy, if you want him. Hi, Junk to be Loved. Oh, thank you, Nikki. The puppy with the green bow. Hmm. Oh, this guy. Okay. He's so cute. He's made in Japan. The three clover. In Japan. He's a cute little pup pup. Hi. Hi, Christy. 
Oh, I broke three. I was, it was not a good week for me last week. I was breaking way too many things. Oh, the chenille bedspread. Okay. Yes, I have a chenille bedspread. It's a big one. I mean, it is probably, I'll take measurements if you're interested in it, but he, this is probably for a queen's, no, a king size bed. The thing of it is, it is on the material that it is on. Now, I sold it once before, and Tammy's probably to Tammy during a live sale, and she came, she's local. She came to look at it, and it just wasn't, it's very, very thick and very, very heavy. You can see the material. It's almost like a canvas material, and but it is, it has the pink and the green and the blue and the purple and yellow. I think there's one small spot on it. It's very big and very heavy. Very, very, very heavy. Hi, Mazzy. It is very, very, it, it's, it's beautiful. See, there's a little hole right there. But it is, it's very heavy. It's very heavy. I mean, it, it's going to cost a lot to ship because of the heaviness. But, and it has a... Um, I haven't spot treated it, but it does have a little stain on it somewhere. But it is in really good condition otherwise. Um, I also have some prayer rugs as well. I don't know if this one is a prayer rug or not. Let me... Now, this one's just like a Victorian rug. I'm going to set you down for just a second. Just a second so I can spread this out. We can see if there's any interest in it. What are you doing, people? You are... Um, Victorio, you're like colonial people. And you're doing some business. There's some bunny. Oh, there's some dogs. <laughs> Fabric close-up. But it is in... It, it's in pretty good condition, I have to say. It does have the threading here. So, if anyone's interested in this tapestry, uh, yeah, I put you all on the prayer rug. The prayer rug is, it does have an elephant on it, though. It is an old one. It does have a couple, see, it has a little hole in it right there. But that is the prayer rug. Purples and like a maroon color. I have a quilted pillow. Home, oh, what a blessing. This needs to be washed. So there's those. Do I like silk? Mazzy, do you like silk? Yeah, it's like a magic carpet. You can put this in your house and you'd be fancy. Fancy. Yeah, a holy prayer rug. Yep. I think it's really pretty. I actually think... I mean, you could use it as a prayer rug still, but I think it'd be neat to use um, it as the end decor as well. Okay, the Real Real Housewife says the pink chenille. I can do that. It's heavy. It's a heavy one. Here. Probably, Emma. Yes, if you see anything that you're, you just send me an email. I'm going to lay you down again on the pillow, and I'll spread this chenille blanket out so we can check it together because... Oh, I'm spreading it out. I'm spreading the chenille so we can see it. Okay. All right, it is heavy. Here is the stain that's on it. It's right here. It's just a little, almost like a water stain, but here it is. The pink is not picking up, but there's pink stripes with a purple um, and yellow and green in the center, but it is big. I mean, it's big and it's heavy. I, will, I can put it in the sale. Yeah, he was a creeper. Emma timed him out. <laughs> but it is not soft chenille. This is like a, it's a heavier fabric. So I just want, 
want you to know it is not lightweight like your traditional chenille and I I can get a measurement and stuff of it too but so I could pull that um oh these little guys have sold let me put those aside uh let's see I have some teapots I've got a kitty teapot I have a crazy looking bunny pot. I have a bear, redware bear teapot. And I have a little creamer of a bear. It's also redware with the matching sugar bowl. The sugar bowl does have a little chip right there on the side of it. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a heavy muslin. Yeah, Tammy had seen it. It is a heavy muslin backing. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it is really heavy. That, that's, the, that's the only drawback of it. So it's heavy. Um, what else do we got, guys? We've got some advertisement pieces up here. We have Toasted with Almonds. This is an old Hershey's chocolate bo bar box a store box so this is what the the chocolate bars would come in and then i have i love this look at this tin this is for tuesday sale you know what i'm not going to sell this one i'm going to see if katie needs this one vintage and vinyl i don't know if she's here she collects these um ribbon computer uh, type i bet said computer ribbons she collects these here computer ribbons I'm going to see if she, if that's one that she needs for her collection. Um, let me finish showing the rest of the advertising, and then I'll go over to the Tanala. I have a Hershey's Cocoa tin, and it is, does not have the barcodes. This one is a vintage one. Um, the School Day Peanut Butter with the original top with the original paper label. I have the Cavalier Suede Spray. Dinstone, this Dinstone can. Yeah, I do have the Prince Albert tin. And this, this is a nice one. This is Buttercup Sweet, Sweet Scotch Snuff with the original paper label. It's never been opened. This is an antique. This is worth a little bit of money. It has the, the tax stamp on it. It's never been opened. Original paper label. Okay. Oh, and I have this as well. This is Song West's Vitamin Song Food for Birds. It's a tin for birds. Bird food. Song bird food. And again, if I'm not pulling anything and you see something that you want, you can send me an email. All right. I think that's all the advertisement pieces that I had over there. Hi, Tiger. All right. So here is the Tanala. I have um, this guy, which I like. This one, I want to say, I'm going to double check. This one to me seems like a Ken Edwards not quite sure, but it just seems like a Ken Edwards paint to me. So there's this little white. Okay, the bird food tin. Okay. Okay, bird food tin. Okay, I'll grab that. It is marked Mexico. It has a soft brown colors in it. This one also appears to be Ken Edwards. It is marked Tanala, Mexico. But it's more of like a blue. It kind of looks like a cardinal but it's blue. Maybe it's a blue jay. I don't know. And then I have this darker um, peacock. And then I've got a duck, downward facing duck, grumpy with the bird on the back. Actually, they both have birds on the back. One's just lighter tan and one's a darker tan. And then I have this upward facing duck with the flower. It has the, the sticker on it. That's all the Tanala that I have. I think you're Italy. Uh, I don't know where you're made, but you're pretty. Okay, what did I pick? 
Yes, you can use PayPal as a guest. Yeah, Vintage AF, this is for, we're pulling things for tomorrow's sale that will be on Michelle Comfy Cozy Living's channel. Okay, I have a lot of Tanala, yeah. It's something that I actively look for. Oh, this is sold too. I need to pull that. Sorry. <laughs> like seeing the things people have emailed me about. But this is a way too for me to show you the things that I have on my shelf that you can email me about as well. These are something new that I just picked up. Um, they are Gobel birds. So there's this blue one. And this kind of a darker colored one. Look at his eye. He's like, yeah, I'm Gobel. And then this one is not marked, but I still thought it was pretty. Um, I also have the horse that was from Pioneer Village in uh, Nebraska. He's plastic. Uh, any Tanala will do. Yes to, yes to the, oh, the Tanala. Okay, I'll pull one. How about, look, I will pull, which one? This one or this one? This one? Okay, we'll pull this one. Um, I, it's something that I'm thinking about, but not, I'm not, I'm not anywhere near ready about, about doing a pop-up. If I did, it would probably be t towards the f end of fall. The Gobel birds. Okay. Now then we have to count. We have to, oh, don't you fall? I probably will do all three of them together because I bought them all together. See, this is what I do and how I drop things. My dad yells at me all the time. Slow down. Slow down. So we had four things over there. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So that has to be it. Um, oh wait, what is it? What am I missing? Be ready to bid. You just need to send an email. Yeah. All you have to do, Carol, is send me an email with your, I do have a shopping basket. See, there's one down there, but they're awful. Um, a, send me an email with your YouTube name, your actual name, your full shipping address and your PayPal email, and then you're good to go. That's all. I just need to need all that in advance. So I have all your information and then you're good to go. Um, okay. You want to send me an email for the Alaba? Okay. The Alaba. Okay. All right. We will do that. Oh, and the gold Jaguar. Okay. So then, that, then we're good. Yeah. We're going to do the, the gold Jaguar. She's going to send me an email about the alabaster, alabaster boxes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We did. Oh, I wanted to show you. I didn't pull any books this week, um, but I just picked up this book. Oh, my gosh. Hygiene and Home Nursing. Look at the graphic on that. That's what this is why I got it. And also the, the contents on the inside are, are a little fun to read, but Look at the graphic on that. Oh, I loved it. It's very, very Art Deco. Um, nature and garden theme books. Oh, probably. These are all the books I have. And actually, I have these books and I have more back here. These books. A bunch of old Mac and old Bibles. Old Bibles. So, yeah. I've got some books and I, and I don't know why I'm not pulling them out more often. I think it's because I see all the bright pretties over there and I want to pull those, but then, you know, so I, the books are hard for me to go through all of them, but, but they're, I, I got some good books. I really do. I'm, I'm always drawn towards the readers um, but really, the books that I look for are the ones that have just these cool um, graphics on it. Um, probably, Carol, I haven't sat through, sat down and gone through all of them. But 
there, there are some from 18, 1860, there are Civil War era Bibles back there. I need to really sit down and go through them, but I just, I just haven't. I haven't. Cloth bound green, blue style. I'll look and see. I also have a lot of these, which are so cool. And I might pull, put together some lots for around Father's Day. But look at look at the old cars on these popular mechan mechanics. Popular science, popular mechanics. I don't know. I mean, look at her. It's just kind of, they're just kind of fun to look through. But just the graphics alone are just amazing. So I do, I have several of these. Um and all these records too. We've kind of looked through those before. But yeah, I'm I've got a lot of books. The Wilderness Champion, that you're not garden. Marketing US agriculture. Well, that's not probably what you're looking for, but oh, the house at Pooh Corner. Oh, I sold that book. I need to get that out. See, you guys are helping me. You're helping me remember. Safety every day. Will you go up there with the readers? Um, you can be a dice person. Yeah, email me if you're interested in the nursing book. And I want to say it is from... Look, It has a lot of writing in it, which I like because this was, you know, someone just jotted down all of their... Eat plenty of protein. Eat same amount of bulk. Don't reduce vitamins and minerals. And this is from um, 19, well, the original copyright was 1934. Um, the revised, so this one is from 1940, this revised edition. But it has clothing, fatigue, it has effects of posture, but on the, in the index, which is... Um, hygiene of the menses. That's fun. Constipation. The feeding of children. The feeding of the adult. Bed making. So, I don't know. I just, I loved the cover. I loved the cover. No, the poo book is not sold. The elves and the shoemaker. That one has sold. This one has not sold. The cover is pretty worn. Um... The copyright on this one, 1961, is the reprint of this one. So this one's 1961. It's in good condition other than the cover. Um, the binding is, is still pretty solid, but the, the, the cover is a little... But you can send me an email about that one as well if you're interested in that. Oh, I like the writing in them too. I love the writing in them. In fact... I'll show you this real quick, too. I don't quite know what I'm going to do with it. I got it at an auction. So when you buy things from an online auction, you don't quite know. You think you kind of know, but you don't quite know. These are all stamps. I thought I was getting a bunch of, like, letters in here as well. But I don't, I haven't sat down to fully look. But look. Look at, the, I mean, it's just full of stamps from all around the world. And in all of these envelopes... They're stamps from, I don't know, <laughs> stamps from Venezuela, Turkey, Japan, and then this is full of more stamps. What is this? Oh, it's more stamps. So, are those, is that Hitler? Ew, that's Hitler. Ugh, we don't want to look at his ugly face. Oh, but look at this face. Oh, Santa, but you're not that old. So, oh yeah, I am sure that there are stamps from any country you could, you could imagine. There are stamps. I mean, it's just full. It's full of stamps. I think that... I mean, it's like every envelope is full <laughs> of stamps. 
I just thought I thought I was gonna get some letters too, which is what I really wanted, but stamps. This one's from Japan. Oh, I know that there's collectors for these. I thought maybe even if people wanted to do junk journaling, they could do it with that, but I got it for a good price, but I really kind of wanted to be nosy and read the letters that were inside, but I don't there's no letters inside. Um so I will just kind of do a little show and tell a little bit in case you see anything that you're interested in. I'll let you know if I'm going to sell it now or if I'm going to sell it in a live sale. I know that like this poodle lamp will be sold in a live sale soon, as well as these amazing chalkware ballet dancers. Um, I got this just because I thought it was great and put your bills in it. I just like stuff like this, but um the I have the dog paint by numbers that are gonna be available in a live sale very soon. Um these I think I might put like towards like a Father's Day type sale. I love this little cup with the clown and the elephant. That's a good boy. Oh, any squirrels. You know, I just sold, I had a bunch of those tree squirrels and I sold them. I don't think I have any other squirrels. Um, yeah, I know. It, they could be, but ugh, I just, ugh, I don't even like to think about him at all. Considering my heritage is of Jewish descent in Russia. My grandfather, great-grandfather was actually in a concentration camp, but um, I don't see any squirrels. I do not see any. But let me know. If someone's interested in this Andrea by Sadik, um, little blue bluebird that I repaired because I dropped him, let me know. I mean, he's repaired good, but he's repaired. Um, okay. Hey, Labrador Retriever statues. N no. I have some terriers. Mainly terriers. I sold the boxer already. I've got a collie and German shepherds. Those are the ones that I have. Um, the little elephant. Yeah, I've already picked. I've picked everything for the sale tomorrow, and I have. And I'll come down here, and I will show you. I'll give you a preview of Wednesday's sale, and I'll show you the fairy lamp that I'm going to sell tomorrow. Um. But I uh, have everything for Wednesday pulled. This is the fairy lamp that I'm going to sell tomorrow. Um, the little spring. I think this is Indiana glass. I'm going to go ahead and put it up on the shelf. The middle shelf will be for tomorrow's sale. But the things that I'm going to be selling in Wednesday's sale is this um, Fenton Persian medallion fairy lamp beautiful it doesn't glow unfortunately i wish it did but it does have all three pieces um i think the missouri plate the three little elephants the pig planter the purple swung vase this little millie fiori art glass little art glass panda the fred roberts set of six cups the bloomers girl the left in bloomers um, some uranium glass, some shakers, another Tanala, some brooches, fish. I mean, these are the things. Bluebird, these hummingbirds. Some more shakers. Oh, these have sold. The little napco wear pig. And look at this little corgi plate. So these are the books. And then the cat linens. The honeymoon swoon. Swoon, honeymoon, soon. Oh, wait, no. Croon. See, we got to put this in order. Croon, swoon, honeymoon, soon. That, that's the order that they go into. And then I also have a lot of postcards that I think I'm going to do. But the, so those are going to be Wednesday sales. Um, the time, this time last year, you could have sold those wipes as an, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. I, I, I have these wipes everywhere because, um, I use these to clean. I don't have a sink here other than in the bathroom. So I, I, I use these antibacterial wipes to wipe off the things before I ship them. 
Um, or like to get pesky little marks like that off are good to clean them up a little bit. But that's that's it. Let me turn my camera back around. You guys helped me pick. You were so helpful. Don't look at the light. Don't look at the light. There. So all of the things that I showed will that I showed that we pulled will be available tomorrow at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Michelle Comfy Cozy Living's channel. Um, and then the things that I just showed you will be available on Wednesdays. I haven't pulled the things for Patrick's sale. I will be doing that this week. Um, I, or if you saw something on the shelf, I'll let you know. Some of the things I do say for a live sale and some of the things I'm happy to sell in, in advance. Um, but I do, I know a lot of people say that they can't make it to the live sale, but I always say if you see something in a haul video, you can always send me an email. Um, I will, my video tomorrow will be a shop with me and a haul video. And then I have a lot of haul videos that are going to be coming out this week with some really cool things. So I need to get them out. I'm excited to go through the boxes of things that I bought and, and get them shown to you. I know a lot of people, the haul videos tend to not do as well as the shop with me videos. That's why I try to lump them together. And you guys have all said that you prefer, or majority of the people said that they prefer the shop with me with the haul at the end but sometimes i don't feel like filming when i go shopping and i just buy things and then i'll just show it in a haul so um i do have a couple of those that will be out this week too but and i might do one live i might go live friday maybe we'll do a live friday haul i don't know we'll see but um thank you guys so much and um make sure that you tune in tonight the Vintage Rescue Squad will have Daniel Tacky is me. Make sure that you subscribe to his channel and Dolores from Miss Damn Jewelry UK. Um, and all of the channel links are in the, um, the the little preview thing. So you can go ahead and subscribe to their channels and give them a watch. And then you'll have some questions for them tonight. And um, I still haven't figured out how to do. You know what, Tiger? I myself prefer not to do voiceovers. I just don't. I, I know that it's it's annoying when you're trying to film someplace and the music is loud, but I want people to authentically see me react to something. Um, I don't want to talk about it after. Like, I, you know what I mean? And you all watch my videos. I go too fast. I even can't keep up with myself when I'm trying to. I'm like, oh, look at this. Oh, well, Misty, you moved too fast. Now I can't see it anymore. No, we can't even talk about it anymore. So I kind of can't do voiceovers because... I move too fast. And I know this. Trust you will tell me, you all tell me that I make you sick, that I move too fast, but that's just me. I just can't help it. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to slow down. I'm trying. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to slow down. Um, copyright. Um, you won't get a copyright strike unless you're monetized. So if you're not monetized yet, Tiger, don't worry about it. You I mean, and once you get monetized, then you will have to worry about it. But um, I don't like voiceovers. I just, um, I don't, I prefer, I myself don't like to do them. I w I've watched them, but I just prefer not to do them. So thank you. Guys. Well, make sure that thrifting, if you like my thrifting videos, tell your friends to watch them because the haul videos, you know, they don't do as well. And I did ship myself shipping a few things. So I'm going to try to tack that on to the end of a video because the shipping videos don't do very well either. Yes, it was my second shot. It was my second shot. So thank you guys so much. Um, I hope that some of you are going to be coming to Illinois if you're able to meet Jeffrey and me and Barb. Fatbirds are going to be there, I think, on Saturday. So if you're able, then that would be that would be a fun time. Jeffrey is working so hard to get everything ready for you. He is such a hard worker. He's working so, so hard. So make sure if you're able that you are ready to go and see him. He's put a lot of time and energy and effort into it. So I would love to see it just full of people. And that will make him very happy too. So go and visit little baby Jeff Jeff. He, that will make him happy. Um, so thank you guys so much. And um I will see you tonight, hopefully, tonight on the Vintage Rescue Squad. I will talk to you guys later. Say bye, Emma. Bye. Bye.